Okay guys, so one more day of so three problems in a row because I'm a little bit behind my goal of doing a hundred problems in a hundred days. So I'm gonna do three problems in a row. So check it out. Uh, today I'm gonna do the second problem from this week's contest. I got pretty close, but I did a mistake on the recursion call. So instead of coding with you guys, I wanna show both how I did and the correct answer. And I, I want to give a big thanks for Arthur uh, from Brasilia, which helped me out a lot understanding what, what kind of mistakes I had done. So let's read it through. Problem 695, max area of island. Given a non empty 2D array grid of zeros and ones, an island is a group of ones connected four directionally. You may assume all four edges of the grid are surrounded by water. Find the maximum area of an island in the given 2D array. So you have a, a 2D array, right? You wanna find the largest group of ones connected both vertically and horizontally. So here you have one, just one. Here you have one, two, three, four. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have a bunch of different groups and you gotta find the biggest ones of them. So I'm gonna show my approach. I found the number of rows, the number of columns, and I iterated over the rows and columns. If that particular cell of the 2D array was one, I would call a function called count island, sending the row index, the call index, the grid, and also a variable called current, which I'm using here to keep track of how many uh, ones I have. And then I, I, I use count island, I change the value of, of that row and column uh, to minus one, it could be zero, anything that is not one. And I did that because I don't want to repeat myself. If I did, if I'm here and I went through all the numbers checking if there are one group, I don't have to do it over again when I got here. I, I already done it once. And I actually didn't do that the first time and I got a runtime error because I had too many recursion calls and it did it, it wouldn't go through. So so you gotta change the value of that of the cells you're iterating, you're going over. And here I'm gonna check these four conditions. I'm checking if it's inside the the grid if it's inside the grid then i'm gonna look i'm gonna check up down left and right i'm gonna check them and if and if they are one as well if one of them on the top or bottom or left or right is one you call count island you call count island for that cell again so you would start here and then you would check left, right, and bottom. Then you would do the same for here, the same for here, and so on. Once you don't have anything around you, then you return the function. The problem with my solution is that I was returning. I wasn't adding current to the previous, uh, from the previous uh, recursion calls. So I was returning the wrong number you gotta add current to the recursion calls and that's what Arthur showed me so this solution here is the same thing is the same thing so you iterate you call count island and then instead of returning you just add the result of current you add the result the result of count island to a variable current so that was the only mistake i was pretty close i was super close but uh, you gotta, you can't return. You gotta add it to a variable current. And if you submit it, you get the right result. Another approach would be to use, you can look at the discussion of this problem, is doing the whole, is doing a base case of return zero if, if you don't have anything. Otherwise, you're gonna change the value as well to zero. It could be minus one, it doesn't matter. And then you do everything one line. So you'll check up, down, left, right. And you add here. And I think it, this is a very elegant approach as well. Very, very nice approach. Uh, so if you, if you prefer this one, you can look it up. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this question. Very neat problem. If you have any questions, ask me. But I, I, I really like it. I think it was a really, really cool problem. Like uh, you had to use recursion. You had to understand how to manipulate it to the array. So really, really good practice, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give your thumbs up if you like the problem. Join the Facebook group and thanks for, for tuning in. See you guys.